All right, I think we can start. So welcome everyone to the second uh, batch on HPC day. Thanks for, for coming. Um, we'll have a, a packed day. So I'll, I'll just do a quick introduction and then we, we go deep into the, directly into the talks. The first thing is to thank our uh, Diamond sponsor, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So thanks a lot. Um, uh, then just a quick, quick uh, reminder. So this is the second time we organize this uh, HPC and Batch Day. Uh, the goal of the first one was to, to have an event that would kind of bridge the traditional uh, HPC world uh, that has its own conferences and uh, its own communities and then the cloud native world. And to have an, there was an event missing that would kind of uh, uh, bridge bridge the two worlds. Uh, so we had the first one back in Valencia, KubeCon, uh, earlier this year. Uh, it was quite successful. So we had uh, in person, we had 40, over 40 people and uh, almost 200 uh, on the live stream. Uh, and I just put here some, some stats that we got from the event that are also quite interesting to have an idea of uh, what we are facing. So if you look at the job, job function, you can see that half of the people are either developers or, or, um, or kind of DevOps is admin people. But there's uh, then the rest uh, kind of splits on different roles in the organizations. So I guess people are feeling uh, what's possible uh, in the using Cloud Native for HPC and Batch. And uh, the event was very successful. So um, we decided to continue and this time, instead of a half day that we had in, uh, in Valencia, we have a full day here in, in Detroit. So welcome, you're in the right place. Uh, we start now, we go until five. I remember, uh, remind everyone that we have the networking uh, reception at 5 p.m. As, 5 p.m. as well, so um, don't miss that. And then for the agenda, we have one keynote, then we'll have eight full sessions and uh, we'll have four lightning talks. This was some of the feedback we got from the first event as well, that people wanted more of uh, lightning talks as well. And thanks everyone for, for sending the submissions. Um, uh, it was interesting to, to, to go through them and do the selection. Um, so very briefly, uh, who are we? Uh, so there might be exceptions, but I think we all have kind of common interests that we all run some sort of high performance or high throughput workloads. Um, running batch workloads as well and doing some sort of uh, uh, AI, ML kind of uh, um, workloads as well. And the specificity of this event is that we basically all are interested or already running a cloud native based infrastructure, meaning Kubernetes and all the tools around it. And we are all looking for the best way to, to, to build on the on the tooling from coming from the cloud native community to, to kind of uh, simplify the deployments we have for HPC and batch. Uh, there are a couple of groups that uh, we meet. So if you're new to this community, there's a couple of places that you can look at. Um, the first one I would highlight is the kind of less newly, but still newly formed the batch working group in, uh, in Kubernetes. And um, that's, uh, uh, where basically the focus is on expanding the support on, in Kubernetes to, to, um, to batch and HPC. And this is things like job API and, uh, and the scheduler. Um, there is also the CNCF batch system initiative proposal. It's not a proposal anymore. So if you go to the, to the link there in the QR code, you will actually see that it's a new, newly formed batch uh, working group inside the CNCF. And this is kind of complementary to the to the Kubernetes batch working group in the sense that it aggregates the efforts from different projects in the CNCF that are not necessarily the core Kubernetes, but that have been developed over the last few years, uh, extending the functionality to support HPC and batch. Um, and then the final one I would highlight is the research user group. This is a, a, a group that is focused on the research uh, workloads that was formed uh, as an idea back in KubeCon Barcelona, and it has been running for a few years. And there you will see uh, batch as a topic, HPC as well, but you will see other things like uh, how do I run notebooks uh, properly uh, using Kubernetes or, uh, or how do I run engineering applications and optimizations. So there, there's kind of more broad scope, but still, still in context with the topic today. So the challenges that we all face, um, uh, the Kubernetes uh, batch API, the initial design um, was uh, 
focusing on particular workloads. Um, there are ideas on how to enhance and extend this functionality to support th the things we need. Uh, the primitives for advanced queuing and fair share. So this is not something that uh, exists necessarily in the Kubernetes scheduler. Uh, tools have been extending that to support uh, this functionality, co-scheduling um, and similar. Uh, but uh, there's an interest to, to have this built into the core scheduler as well. Then a topic that is maybe not in any of the groups before, but it's uh, very close to, to this kind of problem as well, which is support for multi-cluster deployments and hybrid deployments. So you might have a large on-premises infrastructure, but you want to burst out to public cloud in some cases or access to accelerators, things like this. Rootless containers, if you run an HPC center, this is kind of a big thing. So this is also on topic. Uh, and then opt all sorts of optimizations of the, um, the workload submission, but also of the uh, workload execution uh, on the nodes. And then I mentioned before specialized hardware. And then the overall idea is that uh, to try to uh, reduce or avoid somehow fragmentation of this functionality across multiple tools and where it makes sense to kind of consolidate in a, in a single place. So these are all the challenges um, that we focused on in the last few years and we are um, now have a kind of a, a place to discuss and, and push it forward. So for today, uh, again, if you look at the agenda, you will see uh, quite a lot of uh, focus on batch workloads for, for this kind of uh, uh, activities I mentioned. The other main goal is to bring together uh, community experts, and this is the people working on the tools, but also the end users uh, that have feedback on what they actually need. Uh, so this is one of the main things, so please, please uh, uh, make the best uh, of this event. And then the overall goal is to, to somehow make sure that we, we do the best we can to, to turn Kubernetes and cloud native deployments as a, the best tool for batch and HPC. Uh, the topics on the talks, we'll have programming paradigms in batch and HPC, uh, covering scheduling and optimization, hybrid deployments I mentioned earlier, and then user reports and a lot of discussion. So we'll be packed and uh, hopefully a lot of discussion as well. So thank you again for, uh, for sponsoring to, for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And that's all I have. And um, we can go straight to, the, to our first talk from, from Oracle.